Hello and good morning. Now, everything beautiful must be experienced over and over again. You know, this reminds me of the song, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Okay, things just bright and small. small. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're breaking into song already. Yeah, yeah. we are. <laughs> and if there's anything we know on Wake Up Nigeria, it's beauty. Mm -hmm. And yes. class and entertainment and fun and greatness. And that's why we have three beautiful ladies on the show this morning and our only mission is to give you a beautiful start to your morning you best believe if there is me there is titi there's winfrey yes in indeed the kitchen. looking ultra hey, radiant beautiful. this morning hi mm -hmm. when someone said beauty it felt like you called my name and ah. wow. <laughs> nicely said girl nicely said how are you absolutely amazing looking forward to a great show today yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> top of the morning to everyone. Now, welcome to another edition of the Wonder Woman Wednesday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. It promises to be just as exciting, educating, and, and entertaining as it always is. All you need to do is sit tight and anticipate a very beautiful one hour and 45 minutes. Now, we promise that much to you, at least. And um, um, nothing gives us as much pump as knowing we'll have you for company. All mm -hmm. right, my mm -hmm. name is MMM Kwoche. And I'm Tita Laya Oyinisa. You can stream the show live at tvcentertainment.tv and of course Facebook at TVC Connect. Do not forget to send in your comments using the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. And on YouTube, of course, we at TVC Entertainment. And the TVC app is also available for download on both the Android and iOS shows. And you can watch us yeah. anywhere. Yes, indeed. Absolutely anywhere in the world. So we're going to be kicking things off on a healthy note. We will be having nutrition today. We're going to be discussing effective diet strategies for better blood sugar control, especially... As the holidays are coming, this is something we need to look out for. I don't know what we'll be going through Taylor's mind if she says that, that video. video. <laughs> <laughs> that video. Like, yeah. That yeah. So now we have, um, you know, so many great new types of videos. You know, that was how the style was mm -hmm. back then. You know, you introduce someone in your yeah. video, you know, they just do a cameo and yeah, that was it. True. Um, I was even looking at the lighting and ugh, wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be great to have him on the show yeah, later. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, and um, so, so there was something that happened yesterday. For some reason, there was just traffic all over the mm -hmm. island yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, I was on the island. And then, of course, um, you know, there were a lot of um, LASMA officials and road safety officials trying to guide people away from the Ikoi area. Mm -hmm. uh, for, of course, we'll be giving a news update on the reason why. But uh, for now, there are a lot of excavators, heavy machinery trying to get in there. So please, if you're going on the roads right now, please try and avoid those areas so yeah. that you can let uh, the rescue workers do Well, I'm work. also sure mm. that um, the Lagos State um, traffic, traffic officials have things, you yeah. know, handled. Mm -hmm. And that if there are alternative routes, yeah. they would direct mm -hmm. people on that, uh, right. alternative mm -hmm. routes it to take. It felt really stressful on the route. No, yeah. Yeah. no normally the traffic, there's yeah. traffic on the island. Yeah. Yeah. That is a given, yeah. right? But yeah. yesterday's zone <laughs> was at was, another oh, level, nah. right? Uh. It was off the hook. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. It was really <laughs> terrible. Anyways, mm -hmm. yesterday... Mm -hmm. I went phone shopping. Uh -oh, oh, yes. Really? I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. And I must say that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that feeling of. <laughs> At some point yesterday, the guy that um, I walked into a store, and then I'm like, man, these ones are so expensive. And he's like, well, tell that to Buhari. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, well, um, so he's like, dollars are so expensive. And I'm like, they, well, it's 411. And it says, if it sells to me at 411, 11, I right? would take it. Mm -hmm. wow. And I'm like, anyways. But, uh, mm -hmm. well, it's all good. It's all right. So um, I'm definitely, to... I can't wait to help you launch that phone. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. No, the <laughs> truth is, yeah, with the dollar is mm -hmm. understandable, mm -hmm. right? But at the same time, I think everybody is taking advantage of the whole dollar um, yeah. price. And yeah. it's crazy. I well, mean, the other day I was pricing a locally produced goods and they were charging me dollars. And I'm like, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Goodness we me. We have to really go um, mm -hmm. take the weather update now. Stay mm -hmm. with us. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Winfrey Daniel Kolo, and it's time for the news. We'll begin with the ongoing recovery efforts 24 hours after a high-rise building collapsed at Gerard Street in the Ikoi area of Lagos State. According to the National Emergency Management Agency, 20 bodies have so far been recovered, with nine others rescued. 
The injured have been taken to the hospital for treatment as friends and family members of those trapped in the debris remain hopeful that they will return alive. TVC News correspondent Sarah Ayeku has a report on the rescue mission for those who are still beneath the rubble of what is left of the 21-story building. More than 24 hours and still counting, search and rescue operation is long going. Family and friends are scared and angry. Some praying hard and believing their loved ones are not among the dead. They are hoping to match faces to the voices they hear under the rubble. I don't break. You are asking other people to go and break. What kind of stupid break? We have a lot of people to go there and rescue their friends. And they're doing some of them that are there that they don't even know what to do. We can't predict when it will finish because, with all possibility, we might uh, get survival under the rubble. So it won't be as expected for ordinary Nigerians. The deputy governor makes a second stop at the scene, spends about 40 minutes taking briefs from relevant agencies. Addressing journalists, he puts into perspective reports circulating the media. Now we have an agency that's supposed to do this job, and that's why they came in around July to check, and when they saw the anomalies, they shut the site down. So we do that regularly, and we just hope that people will understand the need for state government to also do that most of the time, to make sure that if there's a normal, we will shut it down, just like we did, and they were making corrective actions when this happened. Professional bodies at the scene recommend that lawmakers should formulate policies that will enforce certified members to work on building projects. One of the requirements for construction in Lagos State by the regulatory body, which says Every construction site must have a sign board which tells you who the architect, who the main contractor, who the consultant are. But what you can see behind me are just various 090 numbers and the same developer is the client, is the architect, is the consultant. What is happening? Now I'll tell you about the National Building Code was done by all the professionals in the construction, allied professional in the construction industry since 1986. It was not signed until 2006, when in 2021, this National Building Code has not been passed by the National Assembly. So what are we doing? The clock ticks. Time is running out. Relatives are anxiously waiting around the site to hear good news but their patience is thinning out. So how many of them you know that are there? He's only one. You know, he's only one for Torres. Oh, my Torres, me, our meeting. Not a break, but they were Minutes later, about 10 volunteers from the crowd joined the rescue team. There's nothing they can do now. Some bodies are still being seen physically, but getting them out is giving a bit trouble because of the iron rods, because of a lot of things. And by the time they are brought out, you as a person can imagine what would have become of them. The heat is high, coupled with everything that has happened since yesterday till today. The partially built block of luxury apartments came down like a pack of cards on Monday, leaving questions and tears in its wake. Sarah Ayuku, TVC News, Lagos. And now for sports, TC, over to you. And you are back. Welcome to the newspaper headlines here on Wake Up Nigerian. Yes, shall we? All right. Now we're start with, starting with the Punch newspaper, making the headlines here. Excuse me. We have APC convention date shaky. Party battles crises in 13 states. And at the bottom of the paper here, invest, investors reject $196 billion planned investments in Nigeria. Suspected insane woman throws Two children in so well, but is missing. Very sad story there. And Obi Kubana spends second day with the FCC passport seized. And um, I'll just run through the papers here. Finally, we have, uh, sorry, give me a minute. Um, Asu six prayers as gunmen kidnapped two Uni Abuja profs. 
family members. And that's it on the cover of the Punch newspaper. Next up, we have Daily Independence. And making the headlines here, Walker's Flay contributes, contributes to <coughs> excuse me, pension scheme. And at the bottom of the paper here, Supreme Court says invasion imp impunity taken too far. And also here, another building collapse recorded in Lagos. And Nigeria to reach net zero emissions by 2060, says Buhari. And how Uni Abuja lecturers' children were abducted. And Nigeria needs 1.5 trillion naira in 10 years to bridge infrastructure gap, says Buhari. And finally, EFCC releases Obiko Banner. And also making the headlines here on the first newspaper, we have heavy casualties as bandits, bandits raid Niger Katsina communities. And on the collapsed building here, nine person pulled out alive. And that's some good story there. Also here we have Justice Odili, um, South Court angry tags invasion mission to kill. And PDP rescues, rescue mission will start with Anambra Guba Pulses Okowa and police now have another accomplice in murder of a Kwaibom job seeker. And 19 dead, excuse me, 19 dead, several wounded in Afghan suicide attack. And finally here on PAP, Dikio doesn't joke with performance, ex-agitators warn new contractors. And I'll just take one final story here on Uni Abuja. Police react as gunmen disappear with Professor and five orders. And that's it on the newspaper headlines this morning. Let's find some facts. And we are back. <laughs> yes, we are. We are definitely back. Uh, and it's a Wonder Woman Wednesday. Yeah. It is. Meaning the guys are not here. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about things we love to talk about when they're not around. And, you know, it's kind of fun uh, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, when you think about some things that pop up online. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking, you know, this, first of all, adulthood is like a scam for me right now because <laughs> there was just so much when you were a kid you wished you could do when mm. you grew up. Mm. Um, and uh, it was based on some unwritten rules that used to pop up in different households. Like, mm. for instance, um, who used to eat the last meat in the pot in your house? Last meat in the pot? Yes. Uh, the last meat in my daddy's plate. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, the last meat <laughs> in the pot, the last meat in your daddy's plate. Yes. That was you. So, so I. That Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> daddy's little girl. <laughs> yeah, so he will make sure I come and, like, pack the plate mm -hmm. when he's done eating. And, of mm -hmm. course, there's always one lingering Mm -hmm. thing inside the it was special just for me are you serious and for me alone based yes. on last bond things. yes now you know <laughs> there's just this thing about unwritten rules in families mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. um and you know there are just some things you don't really think about until you read it online so there was a post that came up and um it's you know asked to share what funny unwritten rules uh that you've had in your home so this one says the top of the sliced bread belongs to the wife. <laughs> I've never had a thing about sliced bread, though. Have no, you? actually, that sounds like oppression. No, it I don't. Always, <laughs> I, uh, no oppression, yes. really. Why does the top of the bread? I really it do depends. not like the top of the bread. You don't like? I love it. I really? Like, I don't. rush for it. Are you oh, serious? yes, I do. Really? I love bread generally. Okay. Anyways, so the top and the bottom, hmm, when the bread lands, I'm whether it's a bread eating you know, day or not, I mentioned. go for it. Wow. In, in mm -hmm. Growing up. The yeah. top of the bread, everyone yeah. would always skip it, skip and it's it. always on the side yes. or something. Yes. Yeah, no, I went for <laughs> it. Never <laughs> the top of the bread. Anyway, you had some really interesting responses. Yes. Let's mm -hmm. hear it. So this one says here, um, every day from this is the woman speaking. Every day from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., the remote control belongs to me. If he has a program he wants to watch between those hours, he will do it on his phone or via an app. Now, that sounds like oppression. <laughs> Are you that sure? Sounds, I mean, why does it seem like there's something similar going wow. on there? No, 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 no. no. When, um, if what, so the thing is, um, for this unwritten rule, um, mm -hmm. right now I can't relate to it because mm -hmm. uh, my husband is a very um, flexible person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's very chill. Whatever you want to do, just go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. you get, I want the kids want to... Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want you to read this one. You want me to I read it? I want you to read it. You're savage you. enough to okay, read it. Okay, so this response, <laughs> actually, I'm like, after we make love, she'll kneel down, thank me, and praise me for the service. Daddy, thank you for the service. Oh, God will continue God. to give you strength. We have been married what? for seven years, and she never misses the praise. So I imagine her going down on her knees after the, you know, <laughs> the service. Well, no said, more read me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are the, I'm 
apple of my eye. Oh my god! <laughs> now it just makes me think about the idea behind the service. Okay. Like, okay, so now is it? Is it not something that's meant to be mutually enjoyed? Um, Why is one person thanking the other person? Hmm. Why is the other person well, feeling worthy of that? I guess it's just, it just that? has to do with, you know, her growing up, you know, her So that's what her mother told her to do? Uh, yeah. oh. Oh. Our mother's told us to do a lot of things. Uh, right. Exactly, yeah. that we don't yeah. do. Uh -huh. Our so mother's told us please. a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, oh, it Thank must me, have been Thank extremely you good servicing. Yeah. You know? I don't know. She doesn't Toss. need some praises. So she um, bad. Well, anyways, anyway, talking let's about move on. <laughs> so there's, you, you know how every household <laughs> on Sundays would always have rice mm -hmm. and stew? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was you know, me for too. Sunday, um, sure, sure. For Sunday Brun brunch. Yeah. Um, lunch, lunch. Lunch. After, after church. church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I could, growing up, I remember now we would always go go out. So after yeah. church, daddy would just drive, you know, to mm. an eatery and we would just have like a family hang mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, and even at some point, my, my husband was making it a thing where okay. after church, we would always drive to an ice cream um, uh, parlor, parlor. Oh, yeah, nice. to have ice cream with the kids and pizza. And mm. then it was becoming a thing. It was not becoming, so the kids were becoming entitled. So oh. every time we, we, you know, would drive by and I was like, daddy, we want ice cream. And uh, uh, so, so, that's so my husband like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, want to build a mansion or something? <laughs> All this money that you are spending, oh, I nice save dream, it. Right? True, true, so we save true. it. In my house, it was a rice, rice and stew thing. Rice and stew it day. Was a thing. Every, every the unwritten rule first of all is that the girls wake up by six a.m. to cook the rice uh -uh. and stew. Yes. Wow. So after we come back from church, is it amazing? Eat rice amazing. and stew and go and sleep. As the like, yes, I'm eat rice and sleep. I'm going to sleep. The house will be so quiet. Yes. <laughs> and then you now wake up at five p.m. for and house fellowship. Eggs. Uh, uh, I mean, it's like, are you sure we didn't grow up in the yeah. same, <laughs> in the same one dream because I did, we didn't do the house fellowship thing, but really? we did have a Sunday lunch thing. But mm. I'm going back to this last meat in the pot thing because there's, there's another comment on that. It says, the last piece of meat in our food belongs to me. Even if there were four pieces of meat in the plate and I had eaten the first three, the last one still belongs to me. It is a universal rule. Is it a man uh, speaking? Yeah, it's sounds a man like speaking. It. Okay. it sounds like a man speaking, yeah? <laughs> sounds like but it. Fine. But this one pained me. This meat matter. Because meat is expensive. Uh, <laughs> once she fries meat, mm. I must take at least three pieces before they go into the soup or stew. Oh. Even if I'm asleep, she'll you wake, me, wake up me up to, to come and collect. Wow. She, she, it's her fault. She's been indulging him. Yes. Oh, well. yes. From uh, the beginning no, of I want to believe that when she says cooking. bring money to buy meat, he doesn't complain. Uh -huh. If that is the case, no problem. You can uh -huh. eat like meat every day. That's <laughs> your problem. <laughs> That's it. Um, does but, anybody have special plates and special cup in my daddy? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. My husband yeah. does. Oh, okay. yeah, so nobody mm -hmm. touches them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see those, those plates and spoons, yeah. please leave them there just where they are. Wow, plates, yeah. spoons, cups. Mm -hmm. My dad, you can't. Yeah. He's, he's, it's his own. It's his own. Perfect. Yeah. It's, and it's kept and tray. It's kept in <laughs> a special a corner. Yes. yes, right there. <laughs> For him alone. Nobody if you are caught in <laughs> music. You know, so I think I don't think Mike. So I think my husband is kind of like yours, very you know, open minded open and linear. Yeah. But but there's one thing I know that is an unwritten rule. Um, so no matter so you know what we do to conserve um, power sometimes is we fill up bottles with water. Okay. Either mm -hmm. maybe from the dispenser or boiled water mm -hmm. and put them in the fridge. So you don't have both dispenser and fridge on at the same time, oh, okay. especially if Jen is on. Oh, yeah. oh. So if there's only one bottle of cold water left, it has to be for hobby. No matter how <laughs> thirsty you are, no matter if your throat is dry, no visitor, nobody can touch that cold bottle of water yes. that it must be for Oscar. Nobody wow. can touch it. So. Everybody else will just be looking at that water, you know, like <laughs> drooling. But um, it's amazing that we can talk about these things because they also um, <laughs> um, relieve our childhood memories. Mm -hmm. And Bring then, if you notice, some of these things actually, um, it's it's like a bonding thing in family. Mm -hmm. yes. true. Very true. Very true. So at Wait, this point, we'd yeah. like you to share yours. What are the unwritten rules yeah. in your home? Put your comments right there and hopefully we'll get the chance to read them out sometime mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. Let's take a quick break then, y'all. We'll be back. <laughs> And welcome back. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. And yes, we kick things off on a healthy note with nutrition. And today we are joined by Fola Shadi Baba Tunde. She's a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and the founder of Poisera, um, a nutritionist, who, a nutrition, Poisera Nutrition, which is a brand that helps individuals build a healthy and better relationship with food. And today we'll, we'll be talking about effective diet strategies for better blood sugar control 
and uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for having it's me. It's good to have you. Thank now you let's so get much. right into it. You talk effective diet strategies for controlling blood sugar control. So first of all, how can you identify or what are the signs to look out for if you have a blood sugar, if your blood sugar is high? Yeah. All right, so um, the first thing you, uh, is to go for a medical test yeah. where you... And yeah, what are the signs? What are the okay, symptoms? So for, for the, what are things one Some thing? of the signs you will see is... Um, okay, I think I should start this way. Some people have high blood sugar and then they don't even know exactly. they have it. They don't know. Exactly. And so going for a test is the best way to know if you have high blood sugar, mm -hmm. right? And so once it's confirmed, um, you begin treatment. Okay. For some people, they pee excessively mm -hmm. for some excessive hunger they're eating but then they keep feeling hungry mm -hmm. and for some people on wanted weight loss like you just feel they are losing weight not purposely trying to lose weight mm -hmm. and so for some people it's tiredness weakness and um, sometimes you're drinking water excessively mm -hmm. test excessive tests so it's just some of the signs that some people would see um, however majority in some in many cases do not you know present a sign. Wow, so you're also. dealing with this and you don't even know. Yes, now yes. Now let's talk about the diet strategies that would help you or help someone watching who has blood sugar right now control it. All right. So the first, um, this diet strategy is very simple. And um, the first thing is paying attention to your portion sizes. Okay. Um, everybody eats and um, people think people who have high blood sugar shouldn't, you know, eat certain foods. Exactly. And, um, now, it, I, can I think, we talk about some of those foods that they shouldn't take? Well, um, it's a misconception that uh, people with um, high blood sugar or people with diabetes shouldn't eat certain foods like rice. Yeah, don't eat rice, don't okay. eat uh, bread, don't eat yam. And then you find people eating just beans and um, on ripe planting almost mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. um, thinking that, you know, those are the right food. But yeah. you can eat rice, you can eat beans, you can eat any other food that you enjoy. However, you need to pay attention to your portion control okay. and your portion sizes. And so this is the amount of food you eat per time. All right. And so, um, for example, you are eating rice and, uh, you know, usually we are Nigerians, you find out that a lot of times you have a mold our plate with a lot of food yeah, yeah. and then you have little or no vegetable in that same plate mm -hmm. and you're eating. And so, for example, a cup of rice, cooked rice, contains about 45 grams of carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. If you have high blood sugar, um, per meal, you shouldn't, you know, take more than 45 to 60 grams. So just imagine a cup of rice. And when I say... Per meal. Per meal, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And so a cup of rice, um, the standard to 15 meals, not mm. any kind of yeah. cup, is one cup of rice. And so that size contains about 45 grams of um, carbohydrates. So you and need to look out for this So thing. Yes, but then it is not for you to then, you know, feel hungry. You know, one cup may not fill you up, but then mm. that's why you need to add a lot of vegetables into your meals and other healthy proteins just to increase the bulk and then ensure that um, you are fueled and then your blood okay. sugar is now, regulated. There are people who may not be able to afford nutritionists because I know that there are certain nutritionists that work with people on this level and then they help you know to draw up a meal plan you know that would work for them. So can you like just give us a skeletal meal plan mm -hmm. that someone watching now would need? Okay. Um, um, about meal plan, I, I would like to say that as much as some people, you know, usually go for meal plan, mm. meal plan don't work for everybody. Okay. And I know that uh, in most hospitals, at least government hospitals, you have departments where you have dietitians that can easily, you know, provide that service as part of, oh, um, health yes, health of the health care services. Okay. And, um, but if you want to go for private dietitians and nutritionists, well, that's uh, another option. Mm. And so... Uh, uh, a, a day, let me do a day sample meal, for example, you're eating rice in the morning, so rice and vegetables. And so when I talk about vegetables, vegetables is not only the veg, um, leafy vegetables, mm. vegetable soup that you eat, carrots mm. is vegetable, cucumber is vegetable, cabbage, spring onion, green pepper, they, all those are vegetables. And mm. so adding it, so you can do rice and stir fry, and mm. then you have your chicken without mm. the skin, right? Mm. So that's a sample meal. For lunch, you can do eba. So there's this notion that people with diabetes you shouldn't eat eba, yeah. right? Yeah, so, I, I hear it a lot. Yes. You know, and they add, and they try as much as they they, they avoid this thing. Yes. 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 So I'm you really can you can eat eba, but of course the portion size is also what be, yes yeah, what matters, right? So it's not to make you know the big. Usually, you find people mm. eating like four three wraps of eba mm. with little or no. So I, usually, I like to say that when you have diabetes, your swallows the eba the amala should be the one that is smaller while your vegetable. Eba, mm. not eba, a vegetable, right? Mm. <laughs> so. Interesting. Now let's talk about fruits. Fruit. Yes. There are certain fruits that, you know, oh, no, no, stay away from this fruit. This one is high yeah. in, you know, its, it's sugar content. You shouldn't eat this one. Eat that one. 
what do you advise? So when it comes to fruit, the people with high blood sugar need to eat, need to eat fruit, mm. right? Uh, however, the portion control has to come in oh, here also, it also right? applies. But then fruit is very important for them because it also contains um, high fiber and that helps to regulate. Okay. Um, but then rather than just eating fruit um, without caution, you need to ensure that um, you eat. So certain fruits, for example, watermelon, mm. um, you can eat it, but then what size of um, watermelon do you? For example, a cup, the cup I use, the sample cup, half of that to 50 ml cups would give you about 15 grams of, um, of carbohydrates wow, in, watermelon. in watermelon. So for, if you're eating that, Cucumba is um, has little or no sugar mm, in it, so right? You very little, so you can you can combine. combine okay. Yes, so you combine for the ones that are sweet, but then you still need the sugar. Mm. You, it is excess sugar that it's that's the problem, the problem, right? So you still need the sugar, but then you need to ensure that you are eating in the right um, amount so that you don't um, you can achieve better um, All right. blood sugar. Control. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Miss. Okay, now so um, now that we have talked about fruits, what other strategies? should um, people living with blood sugar look out for? So one of the things that works for people with blood sugar is to ensure that they, ha they eat at regular intervals, all right? So your Regular intervals, how? So um, your often. breakfast, okay. uh, so, so sometimes when you skip your meals, mm. right? And so this is, um, um, you know, talking close to diabetes. Mm. And so when you, when you skip your meals sometimes and your body needs to use sugar, your body yeah. would have to produce that okay. and then so let's just quickly break it down in how many hours. Okay, so if you're having breakfast um, at 9 o'clock, when next do you have lunch? So if you're having breakfast by 9, for mm. example, you can do a fruit in between, like around then 12, then you do your lunch. Uh, lunch by 2. And then um, you dinner. can also have a fruit when they dinner by between 6 and 7. Thank you so yes. much. This has been so um, impactful. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much Thank for being here today. Much. And that, well, you've heard her. Um, high blood sugar doesn't mean you shouldn't eat, but eat in a very controlled, small portion. All right, and next we have moving on to the kitchen with Titi. What's up? Yeah, I'm so pleased you spoke about nutrition just now, MM, because we have a very nutritious meal being prepared here today. Oh, yes? We have Chef Shea and Frank Morning. from the one and only Tasties joining us today. Tasty Fried Chicken. Good morning, man. Nice meeting you. Here we come again to give you a delicious, tasty meal. Yes, indeed. And honestly, we cannot wait. Now, this is a fan favorite. You guys asked for it, and we brought them back. They We're have. We're gonna give it to you. Yes, indeed. A special recipe that can only be found at Tasty. You know, that's what we're preparing today. One and only signature: yes, Yamarita sir. and Yamarita fish. Yamarita and Yamarita fish is going to be prepared right here on the Wake Up Nigeria set today. And uh, take note, people, take note. Uh, this, these are the chefs that made it happen over and over again for years. How many years have you been with them now, sir? It's over 20 years. 20 years! Goodness me. You know he has this recipe right. You know. Let's talk a bit about the ingredients at this point. Yes, so, Yamarita as the name come to it. Yamarita is a patented name from mm. Tasty Fried Chicken. Okay. Any other similar name to it is counterfeit. Mm. Okay. So the, the name is coined out from yam. We use yam, tuba. Mm -hmm. Then this, they already paid yam. Mm -hmm. And then we, there is a special geometric shape we need to cut it into. Okay. It doesn't come into this shape. It's not yamarita. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Then, then now we talk about the yam, then we have the vegetables. Okay. That will go with the sauce. And the sauce is not pepperish, but it's garnished with vegetables like green pepper, pepper. Mm -hmm. green red pepper. We have tomatoes. We have uh, onions. Okay. We have uh, cucumber. Cucumber. Mm -hmm. Then the fish. You no know, fish is spontaneous. Of course. And the kind of fish we are using is not frozen fish. It's fresh fish from the sea. Wow. So the fish is discolored, mm. then seasoned. Okay. Then we are going to now form in the butter. Hmm. Yamarita two comes in the butter. We use flour, okay. then egg, hmm. before we now deep fry. Amazing. And then this is the seasoning. We call it flour seasoning. It's okay. specially made for tasty fried chicken. Okay. The seasoning we use to make the butter before we now Amazing. deep fry it. Okay, so there are some key ingredients there. Uh, that's the red and green peppers, tomatoes, onions, and cucumber for the sauce. We have the flour, we have the seasoning for the flour. Yes. The special geometric cut yam. Yes. The fish straight from 
the water, yeah? Yes. And then our eggs. Our eggs, yes. So what is the first thing we need to do now? I know we've done quite a bit of prep already. You've cleaned the fish. Yes. And you said you spiced it. What spices did you put in the fish? It's a tasty fried pretender spy. Oh, okay. Yes. It's a secret recipe. Yes. You cannot tell us what you put inside. Yes, cannot tell Okay, we understand. You, you, understand. you, you know it by the time you are eating it. <laughs> I can see you've done something to the fish as well. Can you touch the fish a little to uh, show us what so you've what done? So what we did was that, you see, fish coming from the sea yes. come with a natural fauna. Okay. And we need to do the cleaning mm. to be able to remove the, the natural bacteria from it. Okay. And after the cleaning, we discard. Because okay. while you are eating and you are feeling the scale, mm. we don't really appreciate the taste of the fish. Understand? Because the scale mm. is an hazardous material. So okay. after removing the scale, then we, mm. we fill it. Okay, remove the okay. fillet and then we, we dissect it so that the seasoning will be able to enter. So, so that's, that those, are the, marks those are the marks you give on the side it, of the so. fish. Amazing. The fish looks extra fresh. Uh, so what is the first thing we need to do right now? So now the first thing we need to do is that we are going to boil our yam. Okay. Let's, let's start so with the, the process. Point, yes. All right. So we get a, a pot of water pot to of water, boil. Yes. Okay. To get water. And, uh, yeah, we'll get the then water after now. After boiling the, mm -hmm. the water, then we are going to dice all our... Vegetable mm. okay. preparation for the sauce. All yeah. right. Can we show some of the dicing there? Um, because I know that you've already shown us the geometric uh, dicing of the yam. And now you're definitely going to show us how to prepare these peppers. Okay. Do you let the water boil before putting the yam in, or do you let the water boil with the yam? Well, we boil the yam, you just we boil yam from the, in the, from the house. Okay. I swear. The same way? So, yes. Okay. You can put the... Put yes, the. yes. So, Chef Frank here is assisting us, but I have to ask how you were able to get that particular shape of yam. Uh-uh. Ah, the yam yes, is... Like in the product development, you know, mm. there are some things that are in designing, and, it, and they have been gone through a series of experiment and mm. checking customers' acceptability. Mm. We came up with this geometric chip. Mm. And uh, this geometric chip allows us better cooking mm. because it has increased the surface area. Mm. At the same time, it, uh, it, uh, you know, it gives the product good display. Amazing. Each one of the things that customers look at forward to. Forward to. All right. Thank you so much. So now I can see you're giving us a nice slicing of the peppers there. There's quite a bit of prep to still do. But we are excited. We are so excited right now because we're going to have Yamarita and Yamarita fish specially prepared by the chefs from Tasty Fried Chicken. You don't want to go anywhere. Stay right there. Wake Up Nigeria continues. Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. Now, over the weekend, right, a new Mr. and Miss Nigeria International was revealed. And we will be having a chat with Adewale Odunayo, Mr. Nigeria International, and Comfort Odunayo, Miss Nigeria International. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm very well. So how does it feel wearing that crown on your head? Out of how many contestants were there? We're like, how many were there? Uh, 19. Um, from inception, we're 530. Huh. So <laughs> it All was right. a long process. Okay. So, so later we got to 20, mm -hmm. and yeah. finally we're 19. Yeah. 19. 19. You guys had a camping period. Yes, I don't know like, how long was the camp for? Um, the camp? A, yeah, um, just a week. A week. A week. Yeah. So how does it feel now? I mean, out of 530, Okay, probably not always, like, no. you actually, like, clinching that crown. Yes. How do you I feel? I feel so good, like... <laughs> so what is, what is it that you think that you had that literally made the judges say, you know what, this is going to be our queen this year? The thing is that, actually, other queens had, like, they were good. Mm. I don't know. People I just are always saying that. Yes. <laughs> are you just trying to make them feel so I don't feel bad? No, I no, hate no. you. I just believed in God and... So you think God gave you... I can't say a lot of people don't believe in God. All effort, actually. Yeah. yeah. Effort. Yeah. Okay. So now tell me about the experience. What was it like? Why, first of all, did you decide to audition for it, and then eventually, how did it unravel and unfold? All right. Um. Actually, they said when you make your passion your profession, mm -hmm. everything becomes easy. This one is a professor. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So um um back then in Unilag, mm -hmm. I participated for Mister and Miss Nine and Unilag. Oh, okay. So. Uh, it's, um, it doesn't go well the way I wanted it, 
But mm -hmm. they said winners don't quit. Mm. Quitters don't win. Hallelujah. So I kept on pushing, Preach. pushing. And when I was able to to come across this uh, great platform, yeah. Brenda's yeah. and Crusader, mm -hmm. Austin, Mix Pageant, uh, Mr. Mm. and Miss Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine called me and said, Emre, you can do this. You've, mm -hmm. been, you've been talking, talking, working yourself, aligning yourself along this route. Uh, mm -hmm. You can do it. I was doubting myself, really, because I said, ah, I don't think I want to do it again because fear of failure. Yeah, so later I realized that um, when you try mm -hmm. and you fail, it doesn't mean you failed. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's a, le a learning process. Mm -hmm. So I just gave it a shot. Mm -hmm. When I gave it a shot and I felt God go with me with this, mm -hmm. and here we are today. Who is your mentor? <laughs> my mentor. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, just my mentor, a question. Uh, Pastor Balaji. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm disconnecting. <laughs> okay, so now tell me. Um, so, I mean, we all know, of course, it's an amazing experience coming mm. from, I mean, a whole lot of contestants and you had to be there on stage of pressure. So now, what was the most challenging time for you during the whole pageant, all the way from auditions right to the very final moment? Well, it was, cause this is my first time. Oh, really? So my first, yes, okay. yes. I never thought I was going to win. Mm. But do your process in camp, mm -hmm. do you... Um, trainings, working, it was ch really challenging. I had to like push up. Okay, so, so before you went for the pageant, what was your um, um, conception about pageantry and how did that change now, emerging winner? Well, I went before I started the mm -hmm. pageantry, I just believed like that everything in pageantry was all about being a model because I actually wanted to be a, I want to be a model mm -hmm. so I just thought that okay if I start pageant mm -hmm. I can become this model mm -hmm. yeah there was no negative thoughts in mm -hmm. my head okay. positive mm -hmm. I always have positive thoughts <laughs> okay so, so yeah. now going through the process you said okay it's not actually only about being a model you literally had to yes I have to like give to the society uh, yeah. positive yes I'm positive all the time all right awesome so now back to you right so now you're in this position, you've done the whole thing, now you've emerged winner, right? Yeah. There's a whole lot of misconception when it comes to, we won't call it a pageant now for the male, we'll call it a contest, right? Yeah. For male contest, I mean, even when it comes to modeling, right? There is this um, idea that, okay, fine, it doesn't favor the male mm -hmm. gender, mm -hmm. right? In the, in the mm -hmm. competition mm -hmm. and contest world. So what is your take on that? And um, would you do anything in particular to change that? All right, um, like you rightly said, um, I myself, I have that um, perception before mm -hmm. that um, there is a certain gender that this, um, this pageantry or beauty stuff um, only portray mm -hmm. and give, um, um, in, uh, they are interested in. But um, I realize that uh, it's because of ignorance. Mm. A lot of people just assume mm. or they, they, they listen to people who have not been there the, on the normal ESA, this and that. So when you're there, you realize that the narrative is different. Mm. It's different. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm deep in it now. Mm -hmm. I can see that everything is play and transparency. There's no, there's no, um, there's no, um, the perception they've, they've ins uh, inserted mm -hmm. in me before, mm -hmm. uh, it's a wrong per uh, perception. So okay. I'm ready to make people understand that this thing really works good. Mm -hmm. It suits the male gender and the female gender. Mm -hmm. So when you push for it, everything <laughs> comes out good. Okay, great. Okay, so now you've won. What is the plan going forward? Well, thank you. So, first yeah, thing first. Yeah, no, stage. Which one is thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. First thing first, mm -hmm. I'm still a student, so I have to oh. conflict. My, school, uh, my studies. Oh, okay. Then afterwards, I plan on starting my foundation. Oh, really? What's that going to be about? <laughs> Feeding the children. I'm no. a lover of children. Ah, okay. <laughs> like, my name is Omolara, so like, children are, Omolara means children are around, so I oh, love, nice. yes. Okay. So I love children. I just like the feeling. Mm -hmm. I like to put, see them smile. Yeah. So that's what I want so to So you're do. literally just going to go around feeding kids and all of On that. On the street, I have to like, you yeah. know, yeah. <laughs> Okay, great. Yes. I mean, I wish you all the best Thank with that. So do you have any particular thing you have in mind? All right. Um, when, I was, uh, when I was doing my project, I, I made them understand that I have something unique and different. Mm -hmm. And what is that? Mad. What does it mean? <laughs> Make a difference. All right. Make a difference. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that makes you smile. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I mean by make a difference? Mm. It's because I came from a uh, from a hood where 
um, the narrative about them is diff is, so, is totally wrong. Okay. One, once I call the name of the place, you already have your own, <laughs> <laughs> you already have your own take about it. Yeah. So um, I just want to make them understand that something good can come out of this hood. And mm -hmm. now I'm a role model because I, I see them calling me this and that. So mm -hmm. I just want them to understand that, mm -hmm. okay, we can make a difference. Mm -hmm. So wh we through what change. channel do you intend to pass that message? All right. Already, um, I'm talking with my brand, um, um, Brenders and Crusaders, mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. how we are going to organize a seminar to, to give them some, 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 um, perspective on how to go about their uh, about their daily livelihood, yeah. and also we're meeting with some stakeholders and the chairman of our local government, so that um, we can preach what we we will practice All to them. All right, awesome. I mean, it's great having you guys here. Thanks I so mean, much. it's not easy going through that whole experience, and I know. Um, and for one, I know that based on experience. So yeah, I wish you all the very best Thanks in everything so you do. And always remember that uh, don't get um, caught up in the whole glitz no. and glam. I mean, it can be quite distracting. <laughs> but then again, make sure you yeah. stay true to your causes. Yeah, sure. And uh, the sky is just the starting point for <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so Titi is frying something in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Titi, are you trying to choke me? I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I'm learning from over 20 years of experience in creating some of the tastiest meals ever. Thank you so much to Chef Frank and Chef Sheyi from Tasty for joining us in our Wake Up Nigeria kitchen today. And they're making their signature, signature, special Yamarita. Special Yamarita. Thank yamarita you. Yamarita fish. Mm-hmm, and Yamarita fish. Yes. Now, a lot of people's stomachs have been rumbling. People have been coming from other departments to come and find out what's going on. What are we have doing? Have they started next? salivating? Ah, yes, indeed. I am. Okay. I know I am. The, let's see what the yam looks like now. Okay, now the yam is already boiled. So okay. we are going to take the yam out. Okay. So we're not going to prepare the butter. Yeah. So you see okay. the egg, the flour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to coat the yam. And All right. Now followed by okay. deep frying. All right. So then after doing mm. that, they're going to go you know, do the fish right as well. Okay. The butter. So the yam is in focus right now, yes? yes. Or is it the fish? Yam is in focus. Now. Okay, fantastic. So um, I can see you've already cracked some eggs in there. Yes. yes. So what goes into the egg now? So the egg, you know, we have the, the egg then and the flour will go into the egg. Okay. You make a little butter. Okay. Then the flour has been seasoned. Mm. Then make a little butter there. Now start, start All right, let's, let's start yeah. the process. Let's, let's start. Let's begin. Let's yeah. begin. All right. I know this is something you do every day. So yes. it's not it's not new to you guys. <laughs> because right. yam, no, no, the egg is a colored. Yes. Understand. Mm. So by the time it's not dipping it in the floor, mm. so the egg will act as a thickening agent. Okay. Okay. To be able to form a good flake on mm. the on the on the yam. Okay, fantastic. So the yam just goes straight into the egg, hot like that. Yes. All right. Fantastic, and then straight into the flour. So and this um so how much do I have to pay for this uh, your secret spice recipe? Um, can I you know convince you to share it with me? That no, is, I, I won't is, tell anybody. That is impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, that, that is tasty fried chicken. Everybody has a price, oh. Mm. Yes. <laughs> but how much spice uh, did you put in in the flour, for instance? Is it uh, like an equal proportion? No, 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 no. Mm. Like uh, spice is consumed in part per million. Oh, when okay. we say part per million, the majority of these spices, even salt is poisonous if you don't regulate the use. Okay. So that's why we call it generally acceptable, being safe. We mm. call it gas. Okay. Understand? So the, we use them in part per million. Mm. As in a million units of the floor, they use one part of the system. So that it will be within the limit, tolerance limit for human consumption. So. I can't see the yam anymore. Where is it? So it has coated it. Wow. It has whoa. coated it and it's now ready for the fry. So you just throw it in the deep fryer, deep fryer right, right, like, like right there. Okay, okay. Fantastic. So we have a fryer. Yeah, in a the, deep fry in basket. The, in the company, we have industrial fry of course. fryer. But here we brought a demo Fantastic. to show. So you know what? The, well, I'm going to have to stop you there. We don't want them seeing too much. We're showing them all the secrets. We don't want to see them. We just want to see the finished food. He's going to throw those in the deep fryer right now. But you're going to take a quick break and we will be right back. Yes, you heard it. Another strike of the hour. And that's another chance for us to have a go at what we love to do. 
Uh, hello there, it's us again. Yes, just in case you missed us mm. in the first hour, we're here in the next five minutes to make you feel good. Mm. Very nothing but good times. <laughs> We've been given that gift of a brand new day. Thank you, Father. And uh, yeah, in order to make sure that you are counting your blessings, <laughs> We're going to be helping you count them one by one. Thank you so much uh, for your continued interest in this beautiful show of ours. We appreciate it. I Mary. Wow. <laughs> Auntie MM. But, you know, being thankful and grateful, especially for the food yes. that we have in the in kitchen. The kitchen. Uh, that's Look where my that. gratitude is I coming mean, from. Like Look at what? that fish. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Mm, 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 mm. As I can't wait to taste that. Yeah, stay away from my kitchen. Ah, uh, no, away. darling. Stay away. We are going in there anyway, guys. <laughs> and I can always also tell you that the mm. possibilities in a new day are endless. Mm. And we want you to see the beauty in mm. everything. And yeah, it's all about pleasure, pleasurable moments. Uh, and we're right in the middle of making fresh ones just for you. Yeah. Kitchen, of course, is a buzz with some amazing. Uh, food with our friends at Tasty Fried Chicken. All right, do not forget that you're the fuel that keeps us going. Mm. And we still have the next 45 minutes and we intend to make that, put that into good use. Mm. And uh, my name is M.M. Mio Kwache. And I'm Titi Laya Oyinso. Make sure you stream the show live on tvcentertainment.tv if you need to move around. We're also live on Facebook Live at TVC Connect. And do not forget that we are also on YouTube. Mm. Yes, and uh, you, you can find us at tvcentertainment.tv and the TVC app is also available for download on both the Android yeah. and iOS store and you can watch us everywhere and anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you, you've joined iOS gang now. Whatever, TV, whatever. <laughs> anyway, there's some timeless hits, I have yeah, to say. That from yeah. that gentleman. Doctors, and you know, he's actually, you know, he's actually a real doctor. Yes, I know mm -hmm. that. You know, I know um, that. I don't know a lot of people do. Um, but then, you know, when you become a doctor of music, mm. you know, you're mixing. It just seems like a stage name. It does seem like, like that. Yeah. But, you know, uh, interestingly enough, he is actually a doctor. Mm. Even though he's, you know, been in music for quite a while. Mm -hmm. It'd be great to hear from him and yes, find out what's going on. Yes, it will. Mm -hmm. I remember, I imagine him, you know, telling his parents, even after studying, let's say that, <laughs> yeah. oh, I want to go into music. <laughs> <laughs> you have a similar experience. Yes, yeah. I, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I didn't tell my dad till I oh, graduated wow. that. Oh, yeah, I, I not. To medicine. <laughs> my dad he always wondered, to okay, what, what happened? What, mm. Why are you so So you're going to waste that certificate? I'm like, wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> it's your law that you read. I'm like, I well, still use it in my daily life. <laughs> uh, That's what I believe, honestly. I feel no matter what you read, yes. you still actually get to mm -hmm. practice it mm -hmm. in some way mm -hmm. in your personal life. So, mm -hmm. so I actually have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because I, I studied English. <laughs> And I studied uh -huh. mass communication oh. because I kind of had this drive oh, to be able to broadcast mm. or be on TV. Mm. I wanted to be the weather girl. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wanted to be a meteorologist. Oh. But the maths did not come. <laughs> <laughs> it was English that came. But you know what you I'm know, talking about. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. I remember um, someone called me a few days ago. And anyway, I get some of these DMs people mm. asking me to be their mentor. Mm. And I always tell them that um, mm. I can't be your mentor because mm. um, yeah. you'd expect so much from me. And I'm still on, you know, my journey mm. to um, getting better. Mm. You know, I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm on that journey to being better. So mm. I can't be your mentor mm -hmm. because I, I'm, I'm not sure that I feel like I have too many responsibilities already. <laughs> I don't want anybody <laughs> coming to my job with responsibilities. <laughs> but anyways, we have to go over to the weather mm. now and see what that's about. Love the energy. And right about now, you know, as on Wednesdays, we delve into relationship with Tolu Afonja, a certified relationship life and marriage coach and a master practitioner of neuro-linguistic programming. She is here to talk about the confidence factor in relationships. Welcome, welcome. Thank I hope you. I didn't murder your name. At all. <laughs> you got that okay, right. Okay, great. Okay, so now before we delve into the topic for today, tell me what exactly is neuro-linguistic programming about? Okay, so neuro-linguistic programming is about neuro. So when you talk about neuro, you're mm -hmm. talking about um, how you're wired in, you know, mm. and um, linguistic is your language mm -hmm. and programming is your patterns, you know, how you have, you know, perceived your world. Mm. And so NLP, well, which is Neuro Linguistic yes. Programming, has to do with um, understanding the patterns that you have been running 
and how you can change those patterns yeah. in your life to achieve what you want for yourself. Oh, awesome. I mean, because when I heard it, I know neuro, I'm like, okay, brain stuff, and I'm you know, nervous stuff, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay, linguistics, I couldn't, see. but anyways, thanks for that clarification. So now we're here to talk about, you're also like really satisfied when it comes to like relationship, life, marriage. So now, why did you decide to go that way? Why? Okay, so um, initially, well, so mm -hmm. I've been married for 18 years plus, mm -hmm. And um, somewhere along the line, I really had some trouble, okay. you know, and um, while I was, you know, working and navigating that process at that time, I was asking myself a lot of questions. And some of the questions were um, about what did I know at the time I was getting married? What were the things I was supposed to have known, mm -hmm. you know, before you get married? You know, so um, having to go through that process and you know working on myself and my marriage um sort of you know i just got that connection and my mandate is really to help individuals and couples evolve to thrive to thrive yes, okay so. that's really nice okay so now we're talking about confidence in relationships so i think it's amazing how um challenges can literally get us to a point where we now get elevated and more enlightened about certain um, situations and now decide to help other people so now what do you have to say about confidence in a relationship what role do you think confidence actually plays so confidence when we talk about confidence even in relationships you know confidence has to do first with your relationship with yourself mm -hmm. you know and the ability to um, trust in yourself and value yourself and the skills that you have to mm -hmm. offer so when we look at confidence in relationships it's about um how you even attract the kind of relationship that you desire in the first mm -hmm, place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and that has to do with the projection of yourself first. Yeah, true. Then um, projecting yourself now facilitates the attraction that you get. Mm. You know, so when we talk about um, um, confidence in relationships, it first has to do with your relationship with yourself, with yourself. and then with your partner. Okay. Now, when we look at relationships, you know, confidence in a relationship with your mm. partner, um, why is it important and what is, you know, what is it about? Yeah. You know, it has to do with um, how you're even able to express yourself in that relationship. So mm -hmm. confidence helps you to um, express yourself in, a, in an authentic way with okay. your partner in okay. the relationship. Mm -hmm. Another thing will be um, confidence helping you to be um, assertive. So you're not in competition with your partner. And that helps you to be secure in yourself and in the relationship. So we talk about security. You know, when um, you're not confident and there's some, um, you have issues that have to do with confidence either in yourself or in your partner, then you're not able to respect boundaries, even healthy boundaries in the relationship, which will, you know, prop up in all manner of issues and mm. challenges. And, um, and so... So when we talk about um, respecting boundaries, when we mm. talk about expressing yourself, when we talk about security, you know, in relationships, at the, at the foundation of it will be your confidence in mm -hmm. yourself and then in your partner, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so those are just a few of them. Okay. What else do we say about confidence mm -hmm. in relationships? Mm -hmm. It also helps you to um, live a fulfilled life. Okay. So because you trust yourself and you trust your partner, mm -hmm. you're able to um, do whatever it is. I mean, do what you, it is you want to do mm -hmm. because you are trusting in yourself and your partner. Mm -hmm. So you've already like set your goals, your marriage goals or your True. relationship goals. Yeah. And both of you are on that roadmap, on that journey to achieving it. And okay. so because there's a level of confidence, I trust that my partner is also on this journey with me mm -hmm. and... We are just happy going on the going journey together. together. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it absolutely makes sense because the truth is, even in life generally, right, your level of confidence also um, determines or, yeah, it determines how other people perceive you and relate with you. Yeah. So as much as um, a relationship is probably meant to be like a safe space between two of you, you also need to know, okay, fine, if I have certain confidence in myself, um, I will be able to, I don't know, get some kind of feedback from my partner. And so now, very briefly, if it happens that, okay, fine, we find ourselves in a position where we don't seem to have enough confidence in um, ourselves or like in that relationship, how would you say, give us just a few brief tips on how we can develop confidence in relationships? When we talk about 
confi- you can't talk about confidence in relationship without looking at confidence in yourself. In yourself, okay. You know? So, so it's now being oh, yeah. to develop. So because yourself, you're instrumental in the relationship. Uh. So building confidence in yourself is first to ascertain what level you're at because mm-hmm. we're all born with some certain level of confidence mm. we all have it mm. it's just that probably different experiences mm. and things that we have faced in the world have yeah. you know shut that down shut that so down. how do you build that confidence first mm. is to acknowledge the value your mm. abilities your skills who you are who you and are. then what you're bringing into the relationship okay wow mm. thank you so much i would love thank to go you. like have this conversation for a longer time but now we're short on time and we have to go on a quick break right now thank you for joining us thank you for um, we'll go on a b- quick break and when we come back wake up nigeria continues oh i almost wish we didn't have to end the song <laughs> there goodness me jams back to back mm. Goodness me. In the studio, we have been joined mm. by the one, the only. Okay, let's let's give you his profile here. <laughs> How would you do the hype part? Uh, former singer, songwriter, now entrepreneur, filmmaker, label executive, and esports enthusiast. Mm-hmm. He's here to tell us all about his amazing <laughs> journey. He's a fellow Geekazoid, actual doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Doctor C <laughs> is in the building. Oh my god, oh my god! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> I'm super happy to be here. Super wow. excited to be here. It's been a long time coming. It has. Yeah, I haven't been here in a while. Mm-hmm. And I just have to say, I was watching um, the show what? earlier on. You, you ladies look so amazing. Oh, it's so thank amazing. You. Thank you. You started out there into the atmosphere. Too. <laughs> just in case you didn't notice. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank it's you. a lot of work. It mm. is. Let's no, just put it that no, way. No, no, don't say that. Thank it's, you. it's heavenless. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. But, but we have to appreciate you for taking out time. Your busy schedule. You see, um, mm-hmm. it's quite busy these it days. Is. It yeah. is. Tell us I, what you've been up to. No, so I, I never actually thought that transitioning from being in active music mm. to uh, the other side of life, which is yeah. more the entrepreneur and the, the business side, yeah. mm-hmm. will be as hectic as it is. I have to give a big shout out to all of you behind this TVC that you are watching you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and the different businesses out there, it's actually mm-hmm. a lot of work, but it's super exciting as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so since I've stopped actively being in music, I've, I've had a few things pop up in my head. I've now joined the startup gang. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, so I started my own record label. I'm about hey. to release my first artist. Amazing. Um, I have my own film production company. I'm working on my first feature film. Gang, gang. Yeah, so then I also have started an esports team. I back know about this. And exactly. this is the latest one, which is called what? Contender. It's an esports nice. uh, tournament organizing platform. So mm. that was actually the last time I saw you. Yeah. At um, it was a fantasy football. It wasn't fantasy football. It was a live football gaming event. Yeah. At one of the biggest um, event centers in Lagos. Yeah. And I was like, wait, you people want to get the biggest event center in Lagos mm-hmm. for what? For a game. Yes. yes. I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm not going. I, then, I <laughs> just. Going. And then someone just said, you know what? Let's just go. And I was like, I found so many fun loving people there. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the, the truth of the matter is that right now, mm-hmm. um, esports is my passion. Oh, so I'm also involved in Afri, the African International Film oh, Festival. Oh, amazing. So yeah, if you ain't got your tickets, go get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, but you know, esports is, is actually um, uh, an industry that's, that's largely overlooked. Mm-hmm. I mean, in, in, in Nigeria right now, we have over 40 million active gamers. Mm-hmm. Revenue wow. from esports is about $164 million in 2020. Mm-hmm. And wow. this is an industry that's largely overlooked. Nobody wow. gives them um, a chance, mm-hmm. coverage, or whatever. So yeah. I created a company called Contender to mm-hmm. give this ecosystem a breath of life. I'm mm-hmm. currently putting together an esports tournament that is mm-hmm. probably the biggest in Nigerian gaming history. Awesome. Awesome. So the idea is also employ and mm-hmm. give you an opportunity to be engaged. Because I tell people, a lot of people play video games, mm, but yeah. does it pay the bills? When parents mm-hmm. start to look at it as if it's a waste of time. Yeah. But now we have esports athletes. In yeah. 2024, potentially esports is going to be part of the Olympics. Mm. Wow. Yeah, That's so great. we need That's to start great, creating so. that ecosystem yeah. for Nigerians for to Nigerians. be able to compete. You so it's been it a very people. interesting journey so far. There's a lot of story. We don't have enough time on this it show. Is, yeah, <laughs> we definitely, obviously don't have a lot of time. Mm. But anyways, I love the fact that every time I meet with you or have the opportunity mm. to interview you, you always have something new 
cooking, mm. right? As much as I'd love to ask for the inspiration of that, mm. let me first talk about the fact that, I mean, we had the songs earlier play before yeah. we came on air. Mm. It was amazing. I mean, she kept on going on about how timeless it is. Yeah. And you also like bopped to it a whole lot of times. Mm. Now, I want to know why, I mean, you talk about, I mean, now, mm. having a record label, that's totally next level stuff mm. and everything. But then again, we miss you, you. On, on stage, stage yeah. with that energy and all of that. So now why for you? And I think you also something you enjoy, obviously. Yeah. But why so quickly? Why did you leave uh, that? What's you that about? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, no, now for us it's quickly now. No, like, what's that about? 20 something years, it's not good. No, I'm saying for us it's quickly. No, so mm -hmm. um, I, I obviously enjoy and I still do performances. I still do mm -hmm. select performances, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but I, I just also realized that, you know, Understanding that there's a time to shift mm. is important. True. You okay. don't want Very to, true. you can't be on top forever. You need to give room to a new generation of people Amazing. to carry on the baton. For me, mm -hmm. right now, I feel like my position in music is to pass on my legacy. I need to co sign someone else, the next generation. True. Don Jazzy has been doing that. Yes. He has yes. co signed a new true. generation of artists mm -hmm. to come through. The Prince has done that. He's yeah. brought out Rema, he's brought out Rosa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel I, I didn't want to do it. I said I was never going to do it, to be honest. So <laughs> shout out to those people who called me out. I probably yeah. owe some people money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then, I, you know, I had a talk with my, my manager and he said to me, he said, You understand music, you understand yes, the sounds, you, you know what a star is supposed to mm -hmm. be like. You have all this knowledge impact into, into yeah, a new generation and let them carry on your baton. The same way my father left his legacy to me, yeah. I need to pass that legacy on to another artist who's going to nice. take it on. So Amazing. I've got an artist who will be coming out in December very soon. I'm super excited about I it. Can't oh, I can't nice, wait. I can't nice, wait. I can't wait. But you, you have been making a lot of appearances on different things. There was a reality show you were on, a talent <laughs> yeah. show, which was really star-studded yeah. as well, that you were on. Um, so how, how does it feel being, uh, not in front of the camera, but, but behind it? Does it give? What sort of a sense uh, does it give? You? It's 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 quite interesting. It's uh, because you know your opinions and the, the the whole set, the whole arrangement is totally different. I feel like you guys right now okay. because <laughs> like I kind of tend to appreciate mm. the effort and work that goes into producing something like this. I, I want everybody watching to please give these ladies a round of applause oh, for watching at home. It is not palsy to do this. Oh. You know, but I, I like the idea of being able to be challenged. Mm. And, you know, when you have new challenges in life, and it's the best way for you to grow mm -hmm. as an individual. And I think mm -hmm. I'm constantly growing and I'm constantly learning. Yeah. Mm. And it's, it's a yeah. blessing to still be able to do that. All mm. right. All right. Awesome. And it does feel like you're doing things you love oh, yeah. to do. So that, that's a plus. Someone said to me, he said, um, if you can get paid yeah. doing what you would do for free, Oh, then true. you're on the right track. Very okay, true. and, Very and true. that's happening right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, nice. I love it, I love it. I, love I it. think I love the fact that, I mean, okay, now we're talking about movie production. Yes. Mm. Have you always had that thing? Yes, so I actually went to film school. Oh, wow. So my dad being, you know, an actor and being, I've movie. done a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my dad being an actor and obviously I've been around movie sets. Movies have always been part of my DNA growing up. I've acted, I've got a nomination. Mm -hmm. Best Supporting Actor at the Bond, Bond Best of Nollywood Awards. Wow. Um, and then I said to myself, I, I really feel like Nollywood is, is one of the biggest things in the world. And we will definitely get to the next level. So Naturally. I went to film school to sort of understand how to mm -hmm. take that production to the next mm -hmm. level. And okay. I've been developing the script for about five years now. Okay. And okay. I finally okay. have an offer for distribution and we're going to production next year. Nice. All right. Awesome. Uh, so this, this is where we lobby. This is where we lobby. Uh, so yes, you know we also well, oh, act on the side. You know. No, no worry. We, we, we have, <laughs> so I do have one rule for you. You might not like it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be perfect for it. Okay, mm. okay. <laughs> uh, but um, at this point, we still want to remember you for that amazing music. We Definitely. are going to be playing another one Definitely. of your hits. Yeah, okay. Yes. Before the party the officially fish. starts Who in the studio. Fish? We it's have so to tasty. say a big thank you to Chef Frank and Chef Shi. Thank you very much. From thank Tasty you. Fried you Chicken. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at the fish. Look, look at the fish. Nice. Yeah. It looks so tasty. Look at the fish. Oh, yes. Yeah. Look, look at, at the fish. fish. With your marita. Look, look at, at the fish. fish. Hey, hey, oh, my God. Oh, we are, Chef, have you jam? have take away. Yes, sir. Uh, no problem. In my jam, I got to taste this one. So, I was here during the whole process. It went so well. There's something so unique about how Tasty put everything together. We have to appreciate you for showing Thank us. Thank you very much. Um, let's do the tasting. This like, is I the moment. You can see the display. 
This place is telling ah. Presentation, my Goodness friend. Presentation. Me. Where are you going to start from? It's all about the presentation. There's, there's, that's us. That's the that's sauce us. right sauce. there. I used to order this also. Ah. Yes. On his own. You used to, you are ordering it. No, I used to language something. It's an ongoing present past okay. participle in yeah. yeah. motion. And then you oh can even get it online. www.tfc.com.ng Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. So, so what we're gonna so I can yeah, yes, keep talking. Go yes. ahead, go yeah, ahead, go ahead. Talking. So he's gonna dig into the Yamarita. It might interest you to know that Chef Shea has been with Tasties for over 20 years. So it. honestly, this recipe cannot go wrong. It cannot it can't not. Can't, can't, Thank you so much for coming to share with us. Thank, Thank you very so much for hosting. Thank us. you. So, so what do you think? Take away. Take away. No problem with that. <laughs> mm. Take away. Hi. So, so you actually give us an honest opinion. You did a reality show. You were a judge. So, give us your judgment. Hmm? Oh, that's fine. Ah! <laughs> that's fine. fine. So I can come to my house and give for me only. Oh! Only. Okay. Wow. Thank okay. You. Okay. Okay. But I don't think but it's you, can, you can really enjoy that by come visiting our shops. Mm -hmm. Understand? Let me yeah. just tell you something. Yeah? Yes. Tell me. <laughs> TFC. Tasty. Uh -huh. This mm -hmm. is in my blood. Oh! Yes. Yes, I'm part of the family. Yes, sir. So you know. And yeah. mm -hmm. I'm you know now. Yeah. yeah. On those days, <laughs> when you go, you got sharp, sharp. You know what? I'm going to encourage you to keep eating while we say thank you once again thank to you. our friends at Tasty nice Fried Chicken. Yes. We thank appreciate you, you for coming to talk to us and show us how you do your special signature, Yamarita. We appreciate it. It's all we do every day. Yes. Day. Anytime, day, any day. day you call us, we are here for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So a big shout out to all our guests that were on the show today. It's been an amazing, energetic Wonder Woman Wednesday. Ladies, who runs the world? <laughs> Who runs the world? Do you want the Women. official or uh, unofficial uh, word? Yes, so. <laughs> the official or unofficial? But Babies. All right, girls. Have an amazing day, people. Bye. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye, -bye. You have to wave, you. wave, have wave. Have wave. Bye. 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 Are you ready, guys? Closer, closer. Um, closer to you. Closer to you. Need some depth, depth, depth of uh, producer depth. <laughs> wow. <woo. laughs> okay, let me let me do this. Oh, this is punch. Oh, you can bring a cup.